Hey, I'm Drew from NWA3D, and we're going to go over some tips and tricks that you can do to help unclog and prevent your 3D printer from clogging. So we're going to be focusing on the NWA3D A5. However, these tips and tricks can work for lots of other 3D printers, too. The first thing that you want to keep in mind to help prevent clogs is to never leave your printer on and heat it up. Well, nothing is running through it. So never preheat it and then let it sit for long periods of time because the filament can actually bake inside and creep up inside there and get stuck, especially if you have a direct drive extruder, which means that that gear is really close to the nozzle because it can soften that filament and the gear can dig into it. These, they're using a Bowden extruder, which means that the gear drive is far away from the nozzle. However, clogs can still happen sometimes, but not nearly as much as a direct drive extruder. And these techniques that we're gonna go over today are gonna be on this printer, but you can use them on other printers as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a soft removal, and that's when you remove the filament from when the printer is cooled off when it gets up to 100 degrees and then you pull it out. And this is something that you can do to help remove a clog, or really something that you should do every time you take the filament out of your 3D printer, because if you do that, then every time you take the filament out, you'll actually be pulling out all that gunk and all that stuff that can be caught inside of that hot nozzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up our printer. And you can see the temperatures are right here on the top. So that's the temperature it's at and the temperature it's going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this button and you can either go to control and set your temperature to be 100 or I'm gonna to go to prepare and then hit preheat PLA. And then you'll see that that's the temperature that it's going to and then that's the current temperature that it's at. So when this temperature gets up to 100, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze this knob back here and pull the filament out. So with this, You'll see that it has this nozzle here, and I'll move my camera up a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. So this is what we'll squeeze and pull this out as soon as it reads 100 degrees. So we'll kind of watch it right here as the temperature's going up. And you can do this on any 3D printer that you can manually pull the filament out of. So we'll be able to watch it going up. So it's at 80 right now. And we want to do it from a cooled state because if it's cooled off and then you pull it up, it's going to be moving into a liquid state. So now it's at 100, which is awesome. So now we'll just spin this around and then we'll squeeze this knob right here and then pull this, and it might be kind of tough, to pull it all the way out. And then when you pull it out, you'll see this long stringy bit right here. And this is good, this is exactly what you want it to see because this is gonna pull out that clog and all that stuff that's inside there. And that's why you wanna do it in one fluid motion, to pull it all the way out, because this is gonna pull out everything that's inside that nozzle. You might even see some other colors of filament and things like that. And one way that you'll know your 3D printer is, is jammed up is if you see like the little stringy parts that are printing around. And like I mentioned before about this is we'll spin this back up and we'll put this through, back through this hole here to prevent it from coming unwound. So we'll kind of put this back through here so then that will stay like that. So those stringy parts, they might look like this. And as something that maybe is kind of a little bit weak and kind of a little bit going, uh, as it's printing, it's not completely solid. And it might even look like something like it breaks because it has some weak spots in it. So that's what you, you'll know you need to do a weak, uh, a uh, soft removal to help prevent that, to be able to pull out all those different types of things. Normally a soft removal will work and that will get the job done. And you, what, what you can do is you can do more than once. So maybe you can do it two or even three times to get it all out. But if you purchased one of our packs, from us, then you probably have this little filament unclogging tool. And this little unclogging tool is really, really useful to get out those really serious jams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the printer gets all the way heated up to 190 degrees. And then we'll use this tool after we've already pulled the filament out. So it's up to 190, which is awesome. And then we've already put the filament through there. So I'm gonna spin this printer around so you can see it and then move the camera down here. And then what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna floss that nozzle. But we have to be careful because the nozzle is really hot. So I'm gonna spin this right here with my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this and you can, you can raise this up by spinning it this way to raise up the entire assembly. So you can spin it from the top right here as well. And you can raise up this entire assembly to be able to get up underneath it to be able to insert this, this tool inside of the nozzle itself. So now when I've moved this all the way up, what we'll do is I'll take my tool and I'll go ahead and use a pair of pliers with it. And I like to use pliers just to stay safe to make sure that I'm not gonna get uh, burned while I'm using it. So I can use the pliers even pretty close to the end right here. And then we'll insert this into the end of the extruder nozzle. So we'll kind of put this inside of here. And it might be kind of tough to line it up, but once you get it inside, you'll know because you'll be able to pull it all the way in. So now that I know that it's pushed in, we're basically gonna floss this whole thing out. So we can move it back and forth like this to be able to floss it. And then you can hold onto it and grip it and pull this whole thing out. 
And now that cleans out a lot of dust particles and other little bits and pieces that can get stuck in there. So now that we've pushed that through, uh, uh, we're ready to reload the filament. So with the filament clog, you can either use the soft removal all the time, which is great to do, and then you can use that flossing tool when there's nothing in it, which can also help a lot. And you can also push the, the clog out through the end, which is what we're about to do. But before we do that, we wanna make sure that we clip off this part of the filament too. The, so this, we're not reloading this part back inside the printer. So we'll go ahead and pull this off of here, and then we're gonna clip this at an angle to make it a little bit easier to push in there. And then when we clip this at an angle, we're clipping off all of that old filament. So we have all this stuff out of the way, and then we have our new one right here, and then we're just gonna reload this back into the printer itself. So we'll just squeeze this knob and push it back through here, and then keep pushing it all the way through until it won't go anymore. And, we'll, and then hopefully, if it's heated up, when it, when it gets to the end and it won't go anymore, if you push a little bit more, you'll see some filament coming out of the end of the knob. So I'll go ahead and raise this back up a little bit so you can look and see that as I'm pushing this, you'll see the filament is gonna come out of the end of the extruder. So you can see uh, how it's coming out of the end. That's pushing the clog out. So we know that that's gonna actually push the, the, the clog out through the end of the nozzle. So I'm pushing that so we know that all of it's coming out and you can use the pliers and reach in there and grab it because we don't wanna use our hands because it's really hot. So even though the filament cools in about five seconds, that nozzle is extremely hot. So we don't wanna touch it. So now that we've pulled that back, we have the clog out of the way and then we're ready to print. You might have to do these steps more than once for a really serious clog. You might have to do another soft removal, so you might have to turn your printer off and cool it off and let it cool all the way down and then let it heat up again to 100 and then take that removal out to get it all the way out. You might have to floss it more than once, but these are the best ways to go about unclogging clog. You don't have to take apart the extruder, you don't have to take apart the assembly or anything else. You can just either pull the filament out you can push the clog through or you can use the, the cleaning tool to clean it out. So I hope these steps help with your 3D printer and if you have any more help or if you need any more help you can go to nwa3d.com support and we can help you every step of the way to be able to unclog your printer. We can even do another video conference training like this or to be able to help you out. So hope this helps. Have a good day.